So our research focuses on the link between having an active mind and memory impairment and dementia in later life. Specifically, we looked at factors such as education in childhood, occupational complexity in midlife, and level of social engagement and social activity in later life. And we found that these factors were associated with an increased amount of time spent without memory impairment and also a decreased amount of time spent with severe memory impairment. So for our research, we recruited over 13,000 participants into the Medical Research Council Cognitive Function and Aging Study. And the participants came from five different centres across England and Wales, some urban centres, some rural centres, and they were selected to try and truly represent the general population. The participants were followed up over a 16-year period and included in, uh, memory and thinking tasks every two to three years at each assessment. The findings are important because while more people are living into old age, we want to ensure that quantity of life is matched with quality of life. So I think the take home message from our research is that although we don't fully understand the biological mechanisms that are driving dementia and memory impairment in old age, there are several lifestyle factors from childhood right through to later life that do appear to be influencing the progression and memory impairment in older age. And a healthy and active lifestyle certainly seems to be important in promoting successful ageing. There are a couple of things we're currently working on to extend this research. Firstly, in the present study we just looked at a single measure of social engagement and social activity in later life. And obviously this variable changes right across the lifespan. So what we want to look at is how factors such as social engagement and physical exercise as well, how they change in later life and how these changes may be associated with changes in memory impairment. So I'm also beginning to consider the genetic contribution to memory loss in old age and how our genes may be interacting with our environment and our lifestyles. So funding for this sort of research is vital and I'm really very grateful to Alzheimer's Research UK for their support. Recruiting and following you know, thousands of people over long periods of time is extremely expensive but absolutely necessary if we're to understand the population changes in ageing. With their support I've been able to work with three of Europe's leading labs into ageing research. Moreover, I've been able to apply cutting edge methods to some unique data sets where memory and thinking abilities have been assessed over many, many years.